Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today the broilers went to freezer camp. <laughs> He's making a run for it. All right, first thing this morning, we need to get the turkey moved out of the camping crate so we have it available for the broilers. I made this little camping crate to send the broilers off in, but right now I have the meat turkey in it. So I need to get the meat turkey out of the camping crate here. And they're gonna go back inside the brooder here for now. Huh, Pop? So we're gonna be loading the broilers up into this camping crate that I made and a dog crate that I recently just got. That way we can drop these crates off at the butcher shop in line with all the other chickens that they're gonna be doing today and we don't have to try and wait there with the truck. And I do have a dog crate we need to get out. And I never had one before for the dogs, but this is gonna come in handy for the birds. All right, Turkey, how you doing in here? You didn't even have a heat lamp last night and you guys all made it through, huh? Yeah, it was 73 degrees last night and you guys are just fine. We don't have a lot of time, so we gotta get you out. All right, little turkeys. Mm. You Everybody stay home. <laughs> you can be quick, can't you? No, no jumping, no jumping. Oh, yep, I'm going to take my hand. I got that, I need help. Come here. Okay, okay. Okay, it's not freezer camp day for you guys. Oh, yep, I'll take this batch. One more load, guys. That's everybody. turkey are out let me get them their food and water set back up all right the turkey are all set up again they have their food and water some fresh bedding in here they're a little cramped because they're getting bigger huh pop but they won't be in there for long they're going to be coming back out today Hey broilers, it's time for your camping day guys. You all gonna be nice? I gotta catch you all one by one, okay? You guys all gonna be good? We have some different sizes here. You definitely have some that are pretty big ready to go, but maybe a couple others are a little on the small side. I think the smaller ones might be about five pounds and the bigger ones might be around eight or nine. I think they're all, ow buddy, don't bite me. I think they're all looking pretty good though. We don't need them all exactly the same size. This isn't a grocery store. What are you doing? Singing. You go ahead, sing your song. You're just the little friendly one, aren't you? You're just hanging out right next to me. Yeah, you sweet girl. I got a straight run of these Rainbow Ranger broilers, and I believe they're just under 11 weeks right now. They've all been pretty nice this year. Sometimes these meat chickens can be pretty aggressive eaters, but these guys have been pretty good. What are you doing, crawling up into my lap? What are you doing? You trying to get a pardon? I'm sorry, no one gets a pardon here. Echo's gotta eat. 
We'll be right back with the boxes. All right, broilers, your ride is here.
fighting this one. Ah! Good job, bud. You tried. We have our last six. Come here, bud. Okay, guys, you're going with your friends. Come here, bud. This one was the prettiest. I saved her for last. Dark color on her. Good job, Lil. All right, all the broilers are loaded up into the camping crate. They actually all fit into the one crate. And now we have the dog crate for the twins. That wasn't too bad. Sometimes it takes a little bit more effort to catch them all. All right, goats, you're gonna lose your neighbors. It's time to say goodbye to the twins. It's time, twins. It's been fun having you. You guys have a job to do. You have a job to do. Come on, boys. Trying to make it hard. You guys can fly. Good in there. Yeah, I didn't think this lid would hold them actually. Stay in there, bud. Don't try and get out or you will. Oh crap. <laughs> Need a better lid. for it. Whoa, big feather. Nobody. Nobody. Don't be doing this. No, bud. Where are you going? Where are you going? This is not good. This is not good. He's at the neighbor's. I lost the chicken. I can't find him. I don't see the chicken.
He's trying to get back into the fence. Come here, big feather. You're not getting the pardon. Come straight in, Cody. He's right here. Got him. Got him? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Big Feather. You can't get a pardon, bud. Up in a box. <laughs> well, you ain't gonna fit this one. <laughs> Stay together. Stay together. Oh, no, no. <laughs> huh, Wills? We almost had an escapee. Well, that did work, Wills. <laughs> Some guys just running in circles. They didn't even know which way to go. They ain't allowed to go there. Pull the animals out. We did it, puppy. We did it. All the chickens are loaded. You guys ended up being a handful, didn't you? Bad chickens. All the broilers are tucked in cozy in their camping crates so they don't bounce around. Try and make it a quick trip. We'll see you on the way back. <laughs> We got the broiler sent off to freezer camp. I had to go around and mow all the yards because we are expecting rain this afternoon. Now we can head up to the barn, check on all the animals. Echo pup, we're getting a lot of wind. Spot, how'd you get out here, girl? The fence is blowing down. Come here, girl, let me get you back in. Come here, girl, let me help. We don't need you outside the fence, girl. There's no water out here. There you go, Spot. I gotta get this fence tied back up. We're getting a lot of wind. All the dark clouds going south already missed me, but we are still expecting some rain here in about an hour. Huh, Pop? Come on. Sorry, ducks. The pond's not ready. We need some heavy rain before you go to the pond. Hey, S'more. How you doing, girl? Would you bottom out on a log? What are you doing? <laughs> you scratching your belly. Hey, Doughboy. You all front and center today, trying to get some breeze. Hey, Sedgwick girl. You about ready to move out? She always tries to jump out whenever I put my hand in here. Hi, girl. Yeah, I don't have a treat for you. I think today is also the day we're gonna be shutting down the maternity ward, huh, Muffins? You haven't been sitting on your eggs. Sammy, you've been in here long enough. I think we can release you. You can come on out, Sammy, and rejoin the flock. You too, Muffins. Muffins did hatch out one baby and she had it for a few days, but she ended up losing that one too. And after losing that one, she hasn't been sitting on her eggs anymore. So I think it's time we shut down the maternity ward and let Sammy come back out and rejoin the flock. I can also get this whole thing cleaned out now. Huh, Bonbon? Bon. Hey, Rufio, Sammy's coming back out, bud. You're gonna have to reestablish your order. Keep it clean. Good job, Rufio. Green Queen, how's your babies doing in here, girl? You about ready to move out? Oh, your babies are still pretty tiny, girl. You're okay. They're looking good, though. You got some nice colors in here. Definitely different than the other ones. Those two look like siblings. You need water, though. I got you. We're getting a lot of wind. I was hoping we got some rain before the wind. There you are, girl. Fresh water. So I left Sammy free, and he could have went straight outside. He's been cooped up for a while and he actually went straight into a nesting box. I think Sammy's trying to find a better nesting box for muffins. You're such a good man, Sammy. Bobtail, is that you laying an egg? What are you barking at, puppy? What is it? Stella. What are you doing, Pop? Something in there or not?
What'd you find? It's just hay. You're just barking at hay, puppy. You do you, Sammy. Ladies, get back inside. I was just gonna fix the fence. Come on, Bonbon. Bon. Come on, Bonnie, Spot, Rosie. You're not playing with the babies right now. Come on, back inside, back inside. Come on, there you go. Go with her, Rosie. Go, 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 through the tunnel. You got it, Spot, Bonnie, come on. Come on, girls. Go in, go in, in and through. That's a good chicken. That worked better than I thought. I hear you, goats. Really, Star? Good job, Rufio. Beep, beep. Get this reattached to this post. All right, now I think that should keep you in. Huh, Pop? Hey, little one, you still kind of look like a starling. You look beautiful, huh, little row? You did a good job with these four. I'll give them a little block here so the rain doesn't blow in on their feed. But you should be taking your babies upstairs before the storm comes, little row. Puppy, did you get stuck inside, bud? You didn't make it through the gate, puppy. Uh-oh, the ducks won't go over to their pools. We had a, this pool has a leak in it and it blew away. Sorry, ducks, I'll get that out the way. It's not the only one. I actually have a plan to make a dust bath out of this for the chickens. Oh, what's Poppy barking about now? Where'd you come from? What are you barking about? Oh, that's a lot of wind. Sammy, you're still, <laughs> Sammy's still in a box. Sammy, what are you doing in there, bud? What are you doing in there, pup? You want some of those eggs? Some of them are old, some of them are fresh. I can float them in water to see which ones are still good, but I think these ones are all gonna go to the compost whenever I clean out. I'm actually gonna be switching up the whole dynamic of the barnyard today. I hear ya. Why are you eating the grass outside the fence? You could have ate all the grass on the inside of your fence before it died in the heat wave. Huh, girl? Huh, boy? I know. Bert, you're gonna be set free, buddy. You and your snowballs wanna be free? Why do you only have four snowballs? Someone laying an egg? There should be a storm out that direction somewhere. Hey girl. I actually think this girl's still broody, so she's probably gonna stay in here. No one up there? Someone laying it? Oh, someone's laying in the corner. Oh, you got a bunch of eggs over there, girl. So yeah, with the exception of this broody girl, we're closing down the love shack. I hear you, Star. <laughs> Star. I hear you. How many broody ducks do we have? Ducks do we have? Ducks do we have? Girls? I didn't mean to bother you, girl. If you're gonna be broody, you could all take one nest. I don't mean together. Uh-oh. Out, 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 numbers. <laughs> Were they just holding it for you, Mumbles? That's your nest, huh, girl? You're gonna brood on it. Okay, I'll leave you be. They were just holding it for you. Okay. You do you, girl, I don't wanna bother you. Come on, bud. Bert, you're coming out, buddy, you're free. You are free, bud, the love shack is done. You have a purebred boy out there, little Rose raising it up. Watch out, pup, let me get this. I'm gonna leave this open for him. It's gonna take him a little bit to realize that they're free. Huh, puppy? Yeah, ladies, that door's open. You are free again. Gonna get some of that grass. They've probably been staring at that grass for so long. Now 
Now I'm gonna leave that just like that and there is a chance that they go back in there at night. I'm not in any hurry, so I'll just leave it up to them and see what they do. But my plan is actually to move Pants and her eight babies, now that they're getting bigger, out of the bird box she's in in the food forest and give them the love shack up behind the barn. But they'll probably have to share it with that broody snowball. Huh, Sammy? Did you find another fun spot for the ladies to try out? You're just happy to be free. Bert and Rufy, oh, you got your girlfriend with you. Bert and Rufy are out there too. Muffins, he's trying to find you a good spot for a baby. Leave them alone, Pop. Yeah, let them be. They're on a date. Sedgwick definitely wants to move out of her spot here. And I do want to get Green Queen and her babies out of the IBC tote here. I think Lil Rose's still doing fine out there in her mini coop. But I'm not 100% sure if Green Queen and Sedgwick are done raising their babies. Hey, Sammy. And I like to keep... Good job, Rufio. I like to keep them with their mom as long as possible. Oh, they found each other. They found each other. Whoa, Gina stepped in. Oh, Gina's on Rufio's side. Break it up. Oh, geez, I did not expect there to be a girl in this fight. I might need a weapon. You stay out of there, pup. All right, boys, calm down, calm down, calm down. I don't want to get in the middle of that. They got to figure this out. Rufio's a little bit more confident than he was before. Ah, uh -uh, you stay out of it, pup. That's not a girl fight. Buddy, come here. Come, 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 give him space. They gotta figure out who's big. Hey, hey, Echo, come. You gotta stay out of that, pup. They have claws, too. Give them space. They gotta figure out their business. Sammy used to be above Rufio, but look at that mane on him. Rufio's learned some new tricks. And Gina is not happy. Gina's not happy about this at all. We're not gonna let this get out of hand either. And there it is. All right, Rufio. All right, all right, we'll take you out. We'll take you out. You guys get a breather, get a breather. Okay, okay. You get Echo. Don't square up with them, Pop. I like Sammy. Hey, Sammy, calm down. Take a breath. You can have round two later. Don't go in the pig pen. They have to do it to see which one's on top of the pecking order. We just want to keep it clean. I do have an empty chicken tractor out there in the pasture right now. I could put one of the mamas in there with the babies. Good job, Rufio. So the meat turkey are gonna go into the chicken tractor out there on pasture when they're ready, but they're still a little small and need the heat lamp. We have some nighttime temperatures coming up that are gonna be down into the 50s, so I still want them to have access to the heat lamp. Are you done laying your egg, Bobtail? Good job. So I think I'm gonna take Sedgwick and her five babies out of here and put them out there on pasture in the chicken tractor. At least then they'll be on ground. Huh, pup. I have the toad out here for moving the twins this morning. The twins actually were the first chickens to ever hatch out here on the homestead. Dizzy hatched those two out. But they were definitely Bert's babies though, and I really enjoyed having them for the time that they were here. But we have to keep a pretty good ratio with the chickens and the roosters, or the roosters will beat up the chicken. And right now I have one rooster per about 12 hens, and I don't really want any more. Unless I have a lot more hens. Unless I get a lot more hens. Your Uber's here, Sedgwig. Pack up the kids. Get the car seats ready. We're gonna move you right outside, and then it's probably gonna thunderstorm, girl. It's gonna be a fun time. So Sedgwick in here has five babies. She did start out with seven, and I think she had a little bit of complications under her feet because she stepped on a couple. But since then, she's been doing really well with these five. Huh, pup, it's a hard job. We're gonna get them loaded up into this tote and carry them out to their new spot. Oh no, one of my strings broke on my duck array. That's a few years old now. That might be time to get restrung. If you haven't noticed the strings above the duck pen, I put those up there as a duck array to keep the hawks from swooping in. So I think just having the strings up there does keep the hawks from seeing a clear line of sight to swoop down on the ducks. And so far, I haven't had any hawk problems. Hump up. All right, Sedgwick, let's try and keep this clean. I don't need you running away. If you run away, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these babies. We gotta try and keep them warm. Hey, why are you biting me, girl? I don't have any corn for you right now. I don't have any corn, girl. Come here. Come here. 
Come here. You're fine. Don't jump out like the boys did. If you want to keep your baby, stay close. Okay, little ones. Oh, we're gonna help you out. Come here, little ones. This might be a little difficult. One baby here it's an all black one which is just gorgeous I'm gonna say, take a look at the wing here they look like all even wings okay Sedgwick you can keep your babies oh puppy I lost one can't run. Muffins is free right now. I don't know if she still wants a baby. Oh my. Puppy, this one's not working. Ooh. Watch your butt. Watch your butt. Watch that baby. This is not smooth. I got my answer. Muffins is definitely still after the babies. Stay in there. Nobody jump out. Pretty even to me. It's okay, it's okay. Everybody's coming back together. Everybody's coming back together, girl. Oh, uh, this is the one Sedgwick is protecting real well. Okay, girl. Okay. Good at being a mom. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to make y'all mad. I can't see a difference on the wings. No more babies in there, girl. You're next. You're next. You're next. Here's all your babies. There you go. All your babies are in there. Stay with them. There you go. Nice. Now wasn't that just so easy? Can you see that? There's two of them riding on Sedgwick's back. Come on, it's not that far. You can come on out. I don't know if you can jump out with that baby on your back. Alright. Here's fresh grass, girl. Show them what it is. Rev pup, rev. 
Oh, your ears. There you go, girl. The baby's got to jump with you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Oh, oh, oh. Don't step on the baby. What did I say? What did I say? Grab the camera. There you go. There you go. Your baby's come out. There they go, girl. Show them how to forage. This will be your new home for a few weeks, girl. Rev, you don't need to be foraging with them, Pop. Yeah, there you go, little ones. You can spread out, get some fresh air and sunshine. I'll get you guys some feed and water. You guys don't really need... I mean, you guys eat the same feed as the meat chickens, actually, so... I mean, there is feed in here for you. Just a little, little to get there. You might be a little too small to get up in there, though. Huh. You guys will have a good time out here. Huh, Sedgwick? Looks like you still want to be a mom too, so that's good to see. I just have to figure out a spot for Green Queen now. Rev pup, coming out. You guys are gonna love your new home. I'll get everything set up for you when we close up the barns. And we took advantage of the heat wave and expanded the duck pond while we had some dry ground out here. Now we're just waiting for the next heavy rain to help fill this up. Oh, puppy, that is, no, that's deep, bud. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah, that's like quicksand. You gotta stay up on the dry land, bud. It is wet down there. You can see we have some heavy wet clay. It's still holding all the original water that we had in the pond, which is really good to see with the deeper new hole. But if we get the water line back up to where it was, the pond is gonna be at least three times as big as it was before. You testing out the pond, pup? Still good for the ducks? <laughs> good boy, puppy, always working. That's gonna be all for this one. We got some birds moved around and we got the broiler sent off to freezer camp. Uh oh, pup spotted something. We got a flyer. Couple of them, pup. Uh, he's not over our property yet, pup. You're not chasing him off? He's gonna wait till he crosses the line, then he's gonna chase him back. Oh, pop. Thanks, Bert. But it can be a little bittersweet sending the animals off to freezer camp, but we are raising these animals for a purpose. This is a homestead, not a sanctuary. I do take care of my animals the best I can, but some of the animals are raised for meat. Some of them are for breeding, and all of them are for enjoyment. Uh oh, pop, he's getting closer. He's moving. He's staying over the neighbor's land for, <laughs> that's funny, he is staying over the neighbor's land. Trying not to engage Echo Pop. And the food that we put in the freezer doesn't only feed me and my family, it also feeds Echo Pup because he's a raw fed dog, so he gets a lot of the meat and the organs from the animals. So it always feels good to fill up the freezer and have some food security for a while. So I'll do another update whenever we get the broilers back from freezer camp. And if you want to keep following along with everything here at Wood Acres, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that like button before you leave and you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching. Good boy. Let's find some shades.